previously on Launch Control. Subaru Rally Team USA arrived at the Port of Los Angeles for the STI-sponsored Red Bull Global Rally Cross doubleheader with new liveries, a four-car entry, and new confidence. With improved chassis stiffness and an updated engine package, the team had high hopes to be on pace. They found proof of progress early on with Bucky Lassick's third fastest qualifying time. The boys have done their work at the shop. Day one was filled with close racing and aggressive driving. Landing all four Subarus in the LCQ. But the team pulled through, taking the top three spots and advancing to the final. With confidence and the speed to compete, three Subarus are on the start line for the finals on just the first day of competition. This is Launch Control. In the Subaru pits, re-prep for the final is underway. With only minutes between the LCQ and the final, it's a mad dash to get the cars back to the grid. However, inspection on the number 81 car has the team worried. I don't know, I just got here and my boys told me oil went everywhere. Uh, as soon as they shut the car, the car down, but when it came in, it was knocking very heavily. Shut it down and it spewed oil everywhere. Missy took too much of a beating today and uh, she's suffering a heartbreak right now. So I think we're gonna have to miss the final today. We're done. We're done. Sadly, despite Lassick's promising start, his day is over. They made it. That leaves two Subarus on the line. Ten laps, nine cars. The 10 second board signals chaos is set to unleash on the port of LA. Travis Pastrana and Sfera Isaksen are locked in concentration as the lights turn from red to green. Teams bump and jostle their way through the first few turns. Sfera finds an opening and dives inside. Travis's outside grid position puts him in the thick of the action. He drops to eighth. Sfera emerges in fifth. Both drivers know it's a long race. Finding room to pass is tough but there's time to set their strategies in place. Four laps in. Sfera finds the perfect moment to take his one and only Joker lap. He passes the reigning series champion to take over fourth. Travis times his Joker lap carefully, moving up to seventh. Two laps later, two rivals sneak ahead in a similar fashion. Travis quickly cuts to the inside and battles for almost an entire lap to regain the positions. Meanwhile, Sfera is stuck in no man's land. He's built a solid lead over fifth, but can't claw his way within striking distance of the podium. His earlier battle in traffic allowed the leaders to get away. Travis is still in the mid-pack turmoil. Contact from another car pushes him into the outside barrier. His two hard-fought spots are lost once again. He narrowly avoids disaster and hammers the gas. 
Within seconds, he's closed the gap and made a pass. Sfera drives clean past the checkered flag to claim fourth place. Estrana never lets up. On the last corner of the last lap, he inches past PK Jr. to regain seventh. Typically, you wouldn't celebrate a fourth place finish. After all, it's not a podium. But given the difficult road the team has endured, the hurdles they've overcome, and the huge crowd of Subaru fans in attendance, donuts seem appropriate. We have so many STI people here and so many Subaru people, and obviously, so it's so good for us to, to put the car back on, on the paper. You know, that's that uh, it's important. I'm, I'm really thankful to. To, to be in this team, you know, and, and uh, it's really good, you know. This is a result the team can build from. A glimpse of what they plan to achieve. And that was only day one of the double header. As if one day of racing hadn't taken enough of a toll on this four-car team, the sun has risen again, and it means it's another relentless day of racing to come. Blue team, yeah. blue team. Better small. Yeah, yeah. SDI. It's good as well. Yeah, I'll just take it. That was rough yesterday. We had, uh, every time we got put in a good position, uh, it seemed like we had just uh, a little something go wrong, but we had the fastest time in the final. Cars are on point. I feel like we can, uh, we can run with these guys. Just gotta qualify good all the way through, or get lucky, but let's say you make your own luck. Let's do this. One thing was proven yesterday. The updated machinery that Subaru brought to the fight was up to the task. Still not perfect, but a drastic improvement. The step forward is encouraging, and over time, incremental improvements lead to the top step of the sport. The Subaru start day two in similar fashion with another strong qualifying session. Pastrana posts the fourth fastest time. Good work, guys. Good effort on all the, all the tires, all the setup, all the... Jonathan, thank you, thank you, thank you. Quickest splits in the dirt, but the dirt's gonna change again. It, uh, once the dirt gets, uh, gets more hard packed to blue groove, it kind of makes it more like pavement, so. A little false sense of security right now, but we're, uh, we're kicking ass, so we'll see what happens. But this day will prove difficult for the team. Racing incidents and contact between competitors will sideline more than one Subaru. A door-to-door -door battle over the jump lands Bucky in the dusty part of the track and nose first into the wall. Another day cut short. My goodness, I'm done. David Higgins lucky eludes him as well, losing a wheel while fighting for position. Sfera is enjoying being back in the podium hunt. His fourth place result on day one has reinstated him as a threat for the podium, and some don't take too kindly to that idea. When the 
dust settles, only Travis Pastrana advances through on the second day. But as he returns to the pits, the team realizes they have a scramble on their hands. With just minutes until pre-grid, it's all hands on deck to diagnose and repair the car. The prop shaft is broken, damaging the underside of the car. With Bucky's car out of action for the day, his crew moves over to lend a hand. I got the best crew in the world. I mean, if it wasn't for the rally crew, like, they probably, these guys probably should have quit five times already. One of those things, prop shaft broke on a launch. Can't really plan for that. It, it hit the water pipe in the chassis rail, so basically we lost all, all our coolant when he did a practice launch. So we've just epoxied that up now and just trying to get it all, all the epoxy set and get it ready to go. Props all good, so drivetrain's great, so yeah, we should be all right. Yeah. Thanks for all the work, guys, though, seriously. Everybody else would have quit and been at the bar by now. I appreciate y'all. Their never give up attitude gets the job done. Now it's in Travis's hands. Finding speed is no longer an issue. Despite starting last on the grid, Travis fights his way through the field to sixth, improving his finish by one place from the day before. The place to be at the end of a GRC weekend is in the Subaru paddock. Really having a good time and enjoying the effort. So it's hard work, but the guys are having fun doing it. So we're going to keep at it. So that's good. This is the energy that fuels us right here. It's our fans. We had an amazing weekend here in Los Angeles. We could have had a better turnout if we asked for it. It was an incredible weekend. Our guys fought hard. They put on a great show for the fans. We can't wait to come back next year. The STI sponsored event proved to fans the commitment to the series and above all, showed the heart of this team that continues to push toward their future success. We came here with a mindset of just showing some measurable uh, performance and reliability gains and we did that. I'm extremely proud. You can't buy the effort that these guys are giving you. Wherever these cars and these drivers go, this team is united. Thank you for all the work. No one else would have had me back in that final, man. How are you? 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 How